Tonight, the state fire marshal's office is investigating after two portable toilets exploded. The two separate incidents happened in Charlestown and Westerly last Saturday, and now authorities are asking for your help to catch whomever is responsible. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke to the state fire marshal and to neighbors who heard the explosions. She joins us now from Westerly with the details. Well, there were two portable toilet blasts, one in Charlestown, another one here in Westerly at a construction site. That portable toilet was sitting right here. Neighbors tell us the majority of the blast went out into the street. Luckily, no one was hurt. It totally destroyed these two, uh, these two portable johns. This was the aftermath of two explosions, one in Westerly, the other in Charlestown. Two portable toilets destroyed after someone placed explosive devices inside. Went to bed uh, about 10, 1030 and uh, got awoken bolt upright from a big, pretty substantial boom. I've seen many other things happen to porta potties, but never an explosion. <laughs> Jason Model has been working at the Maplewood Avenue site in Westerly where one of the explosions took place. He arrived Saturday morning to this. The porta potty was blown up into a million pieces. Uh, so puzzled, I chuckled, and parked, and then I guess this somebody blew it up about three hours before. No one was hurt. The state fire marshal telling us it was not fireworks that caused the blasts. It was large enough that we brought the ATF in because um, it, it would definitely be a felony to charge, and it, and it, may, have, it may end up going to, into the federal portion of a crime. Both incidents happened on private property, and the fire marshal says it was not widespread or connected to terrorism. Both portable toilets were owned by the same company, a manager there telling us they are cooperating with police. Those who heard the blast and saw the aftermath are grateful no one was hurt. Most importantly, they cleaned the portage on the day before. That was Kim Kalunian reporting. The State Fire Marshal's Office is investigating. If you have any information, you can find the number to call right on our website, WPRI.com. First tonight, investigators are trying to determine who blew up portable toilets in two South County towns. The explosions happened last Saturday in Charlestown and Westerly, and we're told whoever is responsible could end up facing federal charges. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian talked to neighbors in Westerly who heard the blast. Well, neighbors tell us they heard a loud explosion and then woke up to find pieces of debris like this on their property and in the street. Luckily, no one was hurt. So it exploded. And uh, like I said, there was just junk all over the place. This was the aftermath of two explosions, one in Westerly, the other in Charlestown. Two portable toilets destroyed after someone placed explosive devices inside. It was large enough that we brought the ATF in because um, it, it would definitely be a felony to charge. And it, and it may have, it may end up going to, into the federal portion of a crime. Both incidents happened on private property, and the fire marshal says it was not widespread or connected to terrorism. The blasts rattling neighbors. Went to bed uh, about 10, 10:30, and uh, got awoken bolt upright from a big, pretty substantial boom. The porta potty was blown up into a million pieces. The state fire marshal tells us it was not fireworks that caused the explosions. Luckily, no one was hurt. Most importantly, they cleaned the portage on the day before. And the state fire marshal's office is investigating. If you have any information, you are urged to call that number. In Westerly, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.